You almost put that pressure on yourself to get to 100%. It's almost like getting a grade in school, right? You know, you always want to get to that next level. If you have a C plus, you want to get a C. If you have a, a B minus, you want to get to a B plus. Or if, if you have a B, you want to get to an A. So it, it puts that pressure on you to want to get to 100% because who wants to be 40% or 50%, you know? Not being at 100% implies that there's something wrong with you. And in reality, yeah, something could be wrong with you. But you don't want to look at yourself as like damaged goods or someone who's handicapped or at a disadvantage because, and the thing is that you find it's very biased. You'll tell yourself you're at 70%, 80% when in reality your body is, you know, nowhere near close to being as good as it was before. And let's think about it. There's no real benchmark, no real measure to say that you're 100%. I would like play mind games with myself. And the thing is, it's also not linear too. When I was on my recovery journey before, I would I would think that I'm, you know, 40% and then 60% and then 80%, but then I go back down to 40, then 20%, and it was like always up and down, up and down. So when I was thinking of it in terms of percentages or how close I was to fully recovered, I would find myself rushing the process. 